experimental vaccine design targeting sugar shield of HIV strains gives hope for AIDS patients. New York, researchers have designed a novel experimental vaccine that spurs animals to produce antibodies against sugars that form a protective shield around human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, in the body. The molecule could one day become part of a successful HIV vaccine, the researchers said. An obstacle to creating an effective HIV vaccine is the difficulty of getting the immune system to generate antibodies against the sugar shield of multiple HIV strains, said Lai Levin Wang, professor at the University of Maryland. Our method addresses this problem by designing a vaccine component that mimics a protein sugar part of this shield, Wang added, in the paper published in the journal Cell Chemical Biology. The team designed a vaccine candidate using an HIV protein fragment linked to a sugar group. The protein fragment comes from GP120 a protein that covers HIV like a protective envelope, bolstering HIV's defenses. When injected into rabbits, the vaccine candidate stimulated antibody responses against the sugar shield in four different HIV strains. The rare HIV-infected individuals who can keep the virus at bay without medication typically have antibodies that attack GP120, the researchers noted. This result was significant because producing antibodies that directly target the defensive sugar shield is an important step in developing immunity against the target and therefore the first step in developing a truly effective vaccine. Although, we have not hit a home run yet but the ability of the vaccine candidate to raise substantial antibodies against the sugar shield in only two months is encouraging, Wang added. College Park, Maryland University of Maryland and Duke University researchers have designed a new vaccine that was able to stimulate an immune response against HIV's protective shield. According to the study published in the journal Cell Chemical Biology, HIV virus cells are covered with a protective protein called GP120, which itself is covered by a sugar shield to help bolster its defenses. Some infected individuals who can keep the virus at bay without medication often have have antibodies that attack the protein. There has been little success in creating a similar vaccine, because the sugars found in the shield resemble sugars in the human body. It's also difficult to engineer antibodies that can be effective against the multiple strains of HIV, which frequently mutate. Using a synthetic chemistry method, scientists have now designed a vaccine combining a GP120 fragment and a sugar molecule, and tested it on HIV-infected rabbits. The vaccine prompted the rabbit's immune systems to produce antibodies that physically bound to GP120 found in four dominant HIV strains. It takes roughly two years to build immunity against HIV, so despite sticking to the virus, the antibodies weren't able to prevent further infection. But the vaccine's ability to induce a strong immune response in a short amount of time is encouraging, and researchers believe further studies can produce a vaccine that can ultimately neutralize the deadly virus.